As part of SVSI's networked AV system, we have NVRs, or networked video recorders. These actually are packet recorders. So they are recording the packet data, the stream coming from our encoders, and storing that on a hard drive as packet data. That packet data can be streamed then on, you know, as required to our decoders. Because it is exactly the same data as if you were streaming live from an encoder to a decoder, the recorded packet data is, of course, then identical quality when you play it back to a decoder. SVSI's networked AV system has three encoding technologies, N1000, N2000, and N3000. These produce different bit rates of video uh, on the network. So the number of streams and the time that can be recorded on the NVRs is dependent on the encoding technology being used. We have two models of NVR the 6123 and the 6223. Let's think about the 6123 first. It can record one stream of N1000, two streams of N2000, our JPEG compression, and up to 20 streams of our N3000 H.264 compression. Bear in mind, when we say it can record two or 20 streams, uh, it doesn't mean that these can be started independently. They are locked recordings, so they will, the recordings will start and stop at the same time. The 6223 has a much larger hard drive and a more powerful processor, and it can accommodate two N1000 streams, eight N2000 streams, or 50 N3000 streams, again bearing in mind that these recordings will start and stop together, and in fact the recordings are locked. Control of the NVRs is done over the network, either from our NetLite PC application or our control system, the N8001-8002. And of course, again, like all SVSI equipment, third-party control from Crestron, AMX, Utelogy, etc. is also provided for through our modules and APIs. An important thing to consider is that the only connection required from the NVR is a network connection to the SVSI network. It doesn't, so that means the NVRs don't have to be located in any specific place close to the sources or close to the playback. They can be uh, just a shared resource on the network. So any encoders can be pointed at the DVR for recording and the decoders can receive streams, recordings from the NVR. Let's look at the NetLite PC application for managing our NVR and how to record and play back from it. It will appear in the unit management screen as a digital video recorder. It also then appears in the video matrix as both an encoder and a decoder. And if it's set up in multi-stream mode, there will be multiple instances of the encoder designation and the decoder designation. For simplicity, we'll look at dual stream recording of N2000 on a N1623 NVR. So it will appear in the matrix as two instances of an encoder and two instances of a decoder. When it's recording, it's acting like a decoder. When it's playing, it's acting like an encoder. And as I said at the beginning, the quality of video is identical when it's playing back as if you were playing a live stream directly from the encoder, because it is the same data. Uh, it hasn't been converted to video and then re-encoded back to a bit stream. It is just the packet data that we've captured on the NVR. To play a recording, you can select the appropriate recording from the list and hit play. 
it will stream then to the decoder or decoders that you have assigned to that D NVR in the matrix. You also have conventional playback controls for the, for the recording. You can stop, fast forward, frame advance, fast reverse, just as you would on a conventional recorder. These MPEG recordings, of course, can be edited uh, as you would any other MPEG, uh, MPEG file. Note that the data recordings the, on, the on the NVR are non-editable. They are just blocks of data. So there is an element of security to them. They can't be edited, modified in any way. To summarize, the SVSI NVRs, recorders, are networked attached devices that allow you to capture the bitstream from any of our encoders, either our 1000, 2000, or 3000 series. The encoding technology will dictate how many streams you can record at the same time and what capacity of recording in terms of hours you have available to you on this model of NVR. The applications for this device are numerous. Of course, for capturing uh, lecture, cap you know, lecture capture, uh, training sessions uh, in medical or corporate or education, uh, for playback at a later time. They also can time shift. So you can be capturing a stream, delaying the playback by a few minutes or whatever you want to, to do a time shift. This is very attractive to the uh, church market where they may want to delay playback of the live service to a secondary facility by you know, 10, 15, 20 minutes or whatever is appropriate. SVSI provides free design help assistance. Uh, so if you've got a project that requires recording, playback, please feel free to contact our technical su support department and they will provide uh, one-line drawings and equipment lists and discuss with you how these unique products can fit for your particular application.